I'm a dad. I'm a guy who's <laughs> run high school cross country. I'm a guy who's followed ridiculous high school DQs in track and cross country for decades now. I can say I have that level of experience. I've read all the articles. I get mad every single time because each time it feels like this official or this state association is trying to outdo the one that came before it. This one is bad. Um, runner's name is Garrett Winner. He finished second at the state meet, uh, ran the 5K in 15, 27, 22. Uh, there's video of this, which is, this is tough because if this was happening 15 years ago or 20 years ago and there wasn't video, you could say, well, I didn't say that. You misheard me, but now it's on YouTube. Uh, the video is in the article there. It says the F word as he crosses the line, but it wasn't directed towards anybody. It was it was of the celebratory vein. He gets DQ'd. The article has all of this explanation and language about the ruling. It's unacceptable conduct by a competitor, um, which includes, but is not limited to, willful failure to follow the directions of a meat official using profanity that is not directed at someone or any action which could bring discredit to the individual or his or her school. Um, I don't think there's very many people who think he should be DQ'd because basically even the the officials and the 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 people who work for the association and the article are like, hey, listen, man, this is the rule. Like, we just got to stick by the rule. That's just that's just what it is. But this is a bummer. I mean, the good news is for him, he still got to run the race. Everybody got to see how good he was, and he's gonna have the opportunity to run in college. The DQs that I dislike more are the ones that prevent people from running the race entirely. So they don't even have the opportunity or where it impacts the whole team. I don't think this impacted it, his whole team, uh, but we can add this to the pile of ridiculous DQs. In the story uh, that I was reading on MLive.com, there's a great paragraph towards the end. And our producer, Travis, was telling me that this was a big deal in the high school scene a couple uh, years ago. It says disqualification in postseason cross country races aren't unprecedented in Michigan, with one of the most recent examples being Northville boys teams forfeiting the race after running with mismatching undergarments beneath the uniform top. So you can debate which is worse, getting DQ'd for mismatching undergarments or saying a celebratory F word across the line. Um, I think they're both bad. I think they both send kind of the wrong message. I've talked about this before. It's just kind of about rule following and there's no ability to show any sort of discretion or shades of gray. People have brought up the point that football teams, I'm sure, have guys celebrating, saying the F word. They don't like, you might get a penalty, but you don't get disqualified from the game. Basketball players, same thing. It's not like, oh, sorry, guys, season's over. After after he hit a three and he said, F, yeah, you guys are done. But the penalties in track and field are so harsh and in some cases so arcane. Um, this kid, you know, he did this long apology. I don't really even feel like he really he needed to to do that. I guess apologize to coach and team if it if, if that impacted you. But this is not this is not something that we should be DQing high school kids for. I mean, look how long this public statement is. He should not be making a public statement. He he did nothing wrong. The person who did something wrong is the official. The official's an asshole. The official was on a power trip. The official is hiding behind the phrase rules are rules. No, you're a human being. You know what? Your your job is to have discretion. You chose yeah. to be a dick. You chose to like ruin this kid's moment. I'm sure he can go home at night and eat dinner with his family and be like, I just ruined a 17 year old's, you know, happiness. Oh, great. You know, like it's, it's bullshit, you know, like, it, the, the what what what's the why why does this guy want to be an official? This guy clearly wants to be an official. Well, I'm assuming it's a man because, like, what's what's his what's the purpose of being an official? The purpose of being an official is to make sure people don't cheat, right? You want a yeah, fair safety. safety safety okay safety. I mean, are people out there like yeah, tackling well, each other and cross country meets? But. Well, no, that's part of it. It's, 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 yeah. nope, you want fair play and you want safety. By the way, Travis has okay, been so, DQ'd from the podcast because of cursing. So I actually have to take thank over. Thank God now this official, you. I'm so happy this official saved all the other runners from 
uh, a sound that had that started with the letter F and ended with the word yeah. uck. Like bullshit. Yeah. Come on, <laughs> give me a break. Like I can't believe this guy sleeps at sleeps at night knowing he just ruined a kid's like joy. Well, and you know, just, like you know, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go up to him. I'm gonna find him in his when he's out there like uh going to do something fun at his children's birthday party and i'm like hey uh we're gonna have to cancel his birthday party because uh you jaywalked uh to get here when he parked your car across the street so we're shutting it down pop the balloon house it's over <laughs> birthday's canceled you cannot jaywalk I mean, it's uh, it's the law man see jaywalking is illegal so you need to cancel this birthday party i'm sorry that's what we're going to do. We're going to find this guy and cancel his son's birthday party because of jaywalking. That's all There's a larger – yeah, yeah. Well, And it goes back to track in general with all the penalties being overly harsh because there's one tool you can use, and it's disqualification in track and cross country. There's no middle ground. It's not as if they said, hey, you cursed. We're going to add five seconds to your time. No, it's – the only tool they have to remedy it is disqualification. With the uniform stuff, it always frustrates me because you're just prioritizing some sort of bureaucratic nitpicking deal over a kid's, you know, the whole idea is sports high school is supposed to be fun. It's about competition. I mean, I taught in high school if a kid and coached, but I'm just thinking about this in the context of a classroom. If a kid was really excited that they got 100% on a test and they used the F word, I wouldn't be like, you're done for the semester. I might, I might yeah, talk nice. to them. I might, have a, I might have a conversation with them and say, hey, maybe celebrate in a different way next time. I appreciate your enthusiasm because this is all about, I mean, the whole idea is you're preparing young people for, for life, right? That's the, that's the ideal of, of high school sports and just throwing blanket DQs out there doesn't teach them anything. It's just blind following of rules with no ability to show any sort of discretion. So. The uniform ones are always ridiculous. This one, I think, gets a little bit, I mean, it gets more attention from the perspective of there's video of it that people can see, but maybe less attention because it's not a team getting DQ'd, it's one guy. Um, but again, it's it should be, I get that the rule is written down, but if we're not taunting, we're not in somebody else's face, we're not ruining the experience of somebody else, we should be able to, look at this thing with clear eyes and say, hey, maybe just talk to the kid. Maybe like, hey, you had a great race, but don't do that. And that's, that's hey. as far as it should go. That's as far as it should go. Official, is this official who called this ruling has very big loser energy, in my opinion. He's a loser. He should not be, uh, he should not be uh, considered a, a great official. Uh, I'm just saying, the the guy, you're a grown ass man, and you're doing this. Like, what 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 gets you? You're probably not even being paid. He's probably a volunteer. He's doing. He's not even being paid to be an asshole to this kid. He's just doing it because he wants to do it on his free time. It's come on, like. So there's a lot of great officials. I mean, like, there's a, so many great officials out there. There's people who've been volunteering at a track meets and cross country meets who have bring nothing but positive energy and get, do a good job of, you know, applying DQ rules when they need to be a, applied. But then there's people like this yep. who – you can't defend it. And I'm sorry, defending – hey, it's written down here in the bylaws. That's not a justification. Same thing as, like, your job isn't to Apparently. just uh, be a, a blind follower of text on paper and be like, ooh, so anyway, all right, I'm done. I see on the the uh, we got this tweet. It said uh, Waylon ended up giving his medal to to Winter. So, um, cool move there. One of the other that's cool competitors out there ended up giving him his his medal. Kid's gonna go on again. Everybody knows how fast he ran, right? So a worse situation would be getting DQ'd and not even have the opportunity to compete. But well, luckily, he has the he has the uh, he has the ability to compete. Everyone knows how fast he ran. 
he's still going to get opportunities, obviously, at the next level to compete. I don't think anybody's coach is going to see this and be like, oh, major major character issues with that, that kid. Like. We're, we're not going to sign him. But it's more the principle of of this and this this trend line amongst officiating in high school track and cross country, which just airs so heavily on the side of of DQs with, with minimal discretion. Uh, let, let's move on, though. Um, I want to talk about 